Alrighty, so I've been playing this game. Um, I don't know how the heck. I, oh yeah, I found it on BGG uh, accidentally when I was doing um, looking around for uh, what game I wanted to talk about on um, my live streams, and this game popped up, and I was like, "Holy smokes, it's free! Print, print, and play. Give it a shot." Um, the designer has a fantastic tutorial video. I watched it. Um, it's not his first uh, game that he's designed and put out there, and that's for sure. It's ext I just find it really enjoyable. So I was like, you know what? Rather than me doing, um, like I'm gonna about to do my third mission, uh, there's 14 days, uh, he calls it. Um, and uh, basically, if you can go through the whole campaign, do 14 missions, um, you've, you've full on succeeded. Um, I'm just going to use the word hopefully once. I find this elegant, a lot of it. I find the design, the components, the way everything seems to integrate, it's uh, really nice. I'm just enjoying it. And uh, you know what? Uh, it's not perfect. I think there's a few things uh, combat wise I'd like to maybe, but yet again, I've only done it twice. So I'm, and I've only done, done two patrols and there's lots of things that, uh, uh, that have not popped up yet. Uh, just due to the fact that it's, uh, well, it's not a chip pull, it's a cube pull. You're going to see in a minute. I'm not going to go through the rules. Uh, well, I'm going to read out the rules while I do my stuff. But uh, that's that. And we'll see what you guys think. Uh, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. So here we go. Uh, so, so far I've done, like I said, I've done two missions. Uh, I've done a third mission. I didn't put uh, my my other guy here. His name's uh, Hans Zipper. Um, I just randomly rolled. It was either Allied or Entente. And I got, uh, sorry... <laughs> Allied or Central Power, Entente or Central Powers, and I got Central Power, so I picked a German. I love the Havelstadt uh, D5, just love it. Mind you, I'm a huge Spad f uh, f freak now, man, it's not funny. Anyways, we'll get back to this. So Hans Zipper, uh, he's done two missions so far. Um, both were patrols. Uh, the second one, actually, I didn't like the die rolls. You'll, well, you're going to see how, how it works. Um, so I ended up lo losing one point for a mission. So far, um, hand zippers shot down two pl uh, enemy planes. Uh, both uh, missions were successful, and uh, we landed successfully. So, so far, so good. There's been some interesting decision points. That's all I got to say. So the first thing you, uh, I need to do, well, let's just grab the rules and make sure I do it properly. Um, it's just basic, simple. Set up a simple. Yeah, I'll, what I did today was, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm getting into this proper. Is I made some. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to double side them tough. I, I printed off uh, some whatevers and then uh, glue stick them to uh, some chipboard. And you, like I said, I hope this works. It's probably a bit glary, and well, I'll take a look later and we'll see how it works. So, like I said, I'm not doing a whole rule thing. But you're gonna get the idea. I hope to God. Anyways. All right, so basic setup is simple. First, I prepare my thing and I uh, roll five. They want five white dice. I don't have five white dice, so we're doing green. And what I'm doing is, uh, what I'm gonna have to do is, I have to assign these point values of these, uh, these dice to my fuel, ammo, fuselage, pilot, and my skill level for my, uh, uh, my wingman, which is going to come in important, and the wingman. F every time I want to do um, someone with my uh, something with my wingman, when I'm allowed to, I have to roll a four or higher on a d6, so 50. And then uh, every time I do it, uh, their skill level gets dropped, and it can also be affected by weather. It's freaking awesome because it's hand signal. I just love it. Like I said, it's really cool. Oh, a ah! couple of sixes, nice. I'll take them. So here we go. So a six, a six. A five and a four and a two. Um, I could re-roll. I think I'm going to re-roll and, and take a minus of a point. I'll just tell you right off the bat from what I've noticed now in two missions, uh, fuel and ammo are massively important. So uh, there goes my sixes. I can tell you that much right off the bat. And I'm putting the five for my pilot. Um, I'm gonna put the f oh shit. This is a tricky one. Hmm. Okay. I, yeah, it's because I don't know. You know what? It, I don't have to associate uh, assign that. So I'm gonna drop a point for my 
mission skill, but I get to re-roll up to two dice, and I obviously have to take whatever. Well, awesome. Okay, so we'll go for the skill. Well, I have no choice. So skill level and four. So there we go. So there we go. Now I have to, as far as I know, um, it says all die value. Yeah, yeah. Next roll two dice. So I take um, the leftover green one, which is supposed to be white, and then the enemy guy is a red one. And then I'm going to roll, and then we're going to take a look at my um, strategic card, if you want to look at it that way. i got to go and find it. Um, it's here. And I'll uh, figure out which... Uh, based on the die roll at the bottom there, and then, um, sorry, the, the die rolls, uh, hold on here, is it, no, the die roll, uh, the triangle thing at the top is the point value, that's right, because it's one to six, so there you go, and I get two choices of what I would like to do, so, yeah. okay, oops, I am not into cocking dice, man, okay, a six and a three, so a six, I can get three points, and a three, I can get one point, where do you think I'm out of my mind, I'm going to take the six, so uh, we're going to go for a mission of three points, and now I have to roll uh, to find out what the heck the um, what the mission is. And then you can see here I, I roll. Oops, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Yet again, I'm going to have to take a look later and see if this god awful glare and everything else is uh, horrible. Uh, so it's two d six, and I can either do a patrol, reconnaissance, or a bombing run. And I've not done the other two. Um, I've done a. F I get a five. So I'm doing a patrol again. No big deal. And with patrol is, I'm just going to put a little, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll just, I'll figure it out here. I'll put my little backgammon thingamajig so I'll remember where I'm going. Um, and, oh yeah, minus one point though. Um, so now I randomly grab these dudes, four of them, and I put them front to whatever. For different ones, I think for a bombing run, you go back to front or something. But here we go. I'm just going to put him off to the side. So, No Man's Land is the first one. And then I've got to do an enemy airfield. And then an enemy territory. And friendly territory. And I'll tell you what the numbers are, and because I know this bit. Oh shoot, that's right. Um, there's the other other thing is, um, so you'll see the sock, and you'll see the red, yellow, blue, and black. I've put a bunch of, where are they? Oh, here they are. So here's the yellow, the black, the red, and the blue. Uh, the red are enemy airplanes, the yellow is anti-aircraft fire, the blue is, uh, 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 Targets of Opportunity, and the black is a special event. Um, the blue, as far as I remember, um, I can opt out all the time, and I do often. Now, these white dice are basically, I get to add more based on my skill levels, and I think I'm going to add more than I normally do, which is two. Uh, it'll say here. Uh, next roll, two, no, hold on here. Where does it say where I can pop them in? If you've achieved a level up, no, I don't have that yet. Mission type roll, I've done that. Now lastly, sum up the pilot and the wingman skill. Okay, so pilot is nine. Oh, I think I just finally did it. So if the value is six or higher, add two dice. If the, okay, so just still two dice, okay. These are important because if I, pop, if I grab a white one, I can get a reroll, I can keep it as well. And I haven't used them yet, but boy, they're fun to have. All right, and this is just a crappy little 3D printed, um, actually it's a, it is a Halberstadt, isn't it? You son of a bitch. It is, it is. I did, okay. I did a D5, a Halberstadt D5. Well done, my friend. All right, so I pop them in here, and I'll tell you what these things are. So this is the number two. It's telling me that I have to uh, grab two dice, uh, two cubes, and away we go. And, and I have to do them in order of the color. Oops, sorry. So I've got a red and a blue. So what that means is I've got a red and a blue. So the red means that I'm going to have to do an enemy plane attack and I'm going to have to do a plus one because of this one. Oh yeah, the other thing I forgot to do. I have to roll for these things here. These are my die roll modifiers for the enemy. 
my die roll modifiers are my uh, abilities that I've decided to assign with the skill, uh, the whatevers. So here we go. So now we're going to figure out where he goes. So it's number five. So what I do is I go and I just grabbed randomly one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do that. And we'll put them under. So that would be the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth. Awesome. The, fighter, the fighters suck in this one. Great. I'm happy. All right. So the, and I have to do it in the order of whatevers. So the first thing I do when I, I, I notice a red cube is I use the dogfight table. And I roll for each cube. And it's the player's DRM is my pilot value. And like I said, it's that one. So we're going to go. My pilot value is 5. So I got plus 5 to my die roll and they get a plus 1. So I get a, so I win. Uh, and then I take a look at my card over here. And it's a dogfight card. Hopefully you can see that. And like I said, you, you're going to see that in the tutorial if you want it. So I've won. It says you, I've got the advantage and I've got my advantage by 1. Enemy evades. So nothing happens. But you're going to see something bad happens to me in a minute. So we take that cube away, but it was plus one, so we put the cube back. If you get you get get it, and it's still uh, a die roll modifier one. We don't keep funk, uh, screwing around here. Just per card kind of thing. All right. Uh, oh goody. So it's still a thing. Enemy evade. So we get rid of that one. Now it's a blue uh, blue thing, and it says for a blue cube. For this test, the player's DRM is their current ammo die value, and it's 6. This test is optional, and like I said, I've never tried to do it. You may decide to roll for it, or you can return blue cubes back to the bag and skip the test. Um, I still got a ways to go, and there's a lot of horrible crap here. 3 and a 2. So I'm going to skip the test, and we move to the next thing. However, because I... Uh, engaged in a combat, in a dogfight, I always have to reduce my ammo by one and my fuel by one. That's why, like I said, it's, uh, you start getting into these decision points. I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Hold on, I'm just going to take a sip. Where's my stuff? I hope, I hope you're liking this. So like I said, I'm not like Mr. Professional like you've seen a zillion other people. I'm just doing my thing, man. This is so not, not what I want. Ah, just enjoy myself for crying out loud. I'll take a page out of Jezza 1, man. This is my hobby. But I love to share it with you. That's for sure. All right. So now I've got to grab three cubes from the bag. And hope to God they're two white ones. Ha! Ah! Oh, that'd be great. All righty. Oh shit, I didn't put the red one back. All right, hold on here. We got uno, dos, tres. Or do I? Now I do. Oh my god, you won't believe what I just saw. I'll take that for 200, Alex. All right, so this is going to be an easy one. Well, maybe not really. What am I saying? Um, stop doing that to yourself, Chris. All right, so remember what it is. It's the, um, the oh shit, I got to roll a die, uh, random die roll for the card. So it's a one, and I'm just going to randomly grab one. Oh, and I'm not kidding you guys. I just, you know, I'm just doing whatever, man. I'm not trying to bullshit. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now I roll my, what did it say again? For the red cube, it is uh, my pilot skill versus their die roll modifier. All right, so here we go. And I've got two white cubes. How does that work? No, I keep them forever, I think. That's right, I do. Okay. So four plus one is five. Three plus five is eight. I got a plus two on my uh, thing, enemy evade. All right, remember it's a plus one to their plane uh, thing, so we go again. Four and a two. Ooh -ooh. So four is a five, so I still do it, plus one, enemy evade. Uh, if you remember, I'm, I'm just remembering. 
Oh shit! I forgot to roll for weather. This could have been important, damn it. Oh man, I'm so sorry. It's a one. No effect. Clear. Oh, sorry, it's 2d6. Four. Uh, yep, still clear. Oh, am I a lucky bugger? All right, so now we've done the uh, two red things. I move on to this. And I put the red cube back in the, in the sock. And then I have to pull two dice. And it, this is going to be... Why do I keep trying to tempt myself that way? What are you doing? Plus, are you eating spiders? Yes, you are. All right, now I grab two dice. Uh, two cubes, sorry. Oh, shit. So that's... Oh, my God. And remember, I, had, I did an engagement. So I have to reduce my thing down to a four. And my fuel down to a four. I forgot about that. Okay. This ain't going to be fun, is it? Three planes. But I've got two re-rolls if I wish to use them. Here we go again. Okay, so it's um, a two to my six. So that's a plus five. That could be interesting. So dogfight, uh, HD. Heavy damage. Heavy damage. You inflicted heavy damage to your to the enemy plane so there is a possibility it will crash while returning to base. You can follow up with another die roll. On a 5 or plus the enemy is destroyed. Alright. Oh, well, obviously I'm going to give it a shot. But I could use my wingman skill and it would reduce them to 1 on a 4 plus and I could shift the column over from an HD to a, an SD to a shot down. Straight up. You know what? Let's do that. So we're going to roll four up. Or should I? Yeah, let's do this. Ah, I should have just gone the straight up. Anyways, I have to reduce my wingman skill down to a three because I wanted to be greedy. But I killed the plane. So we're just going to put this guy over here. But I'm going to get rid of that uh, dot. If, you, if that makes sense in a weirdo way because of that minus one of the thing. Okay, so I got one more plane. Actually, we got three more planes, so we'll just keep them up here. All right, but I did shoot one down. Excellent. And you can get some bad results and redu uh, lose ammo and fuel and still have to lose ammo and fuel because you did combats anyways. All right, so I've got six uh, for that person, seven. Plus mine is 10. Uh, plus 3 on the dogfight chart is enemy evade. Okie doke. And I've got one more to go. 4 plus 5 is 9. Uh, 4 plus 5 on a dogfight chart is uh, heavy damage. Um, yeah, let's just do the 5 or 6. Watch this be in a 4. Uh, yeah, I knew it, you son of a bee. So I don't get it. <laughs> but I have to reduce my um, my ammo. Oh, you son of a bee. Okay, there we go. And there you go, and my fuel. And now we're down to the last one. And it's only one die. I got to put the uh, one cube. And I'm going to put this. Of course, now that with two less white cubes in there, it's. <laughs> Much higher chance. I well, you got some good stuff going on here, don't I? It'd be interesting to see what you guys think if anybody comments and goes, yeah, this game sucks, or yeah, this game's kind of neat. Whatever, let's see. All right. You're a blue. And if I take the person, it's an opportunity thing. I have to go an extra one. And the way I would look at it is, let's go for it. I've never done that before. So let's do this blue thing. For this test, the player's DRM is their current ammo die value. Okay, three. Shit. Well, oh shit, I have to roll their random thingamajig. Two. Mm-hmm. Did I even do that thing? Oh, man. Well, we'll have to look and see if I screwed up. 
Uh oh. And I've got two threes. Okay. This test is optional, but I said tough. Um, targets of opportunity are worth points, but you'll have to lower the fuel and ammo dive. Oh shit, that's going to affect me with uh, landing back. If you choose to hunt the special target, yep, I'm going to do it. Okay, so the special target is. I've got a roll for that. Uh, one die six plus the die roll modifier. Uh oh. Okay. Six, nine. Hold on here. Oh, it's two die six. Sorry. Seven. I've got a recon balloon. It's worth one point. And I have to um, see if I can. If you choose to hunt the special target, roll on the special target chart. Okay. Then roll if you're okay. Then roll for the test. If your roll is equal to or higher than the enemy's roll, so Oh I see. That's the two points. Okay, I get it. I get it now. So I'm going after a recon balloon for um one point. Now I roll for, uh -huh. so now I'm rolling for my ammo value, and it's rolling for it's there. Okay, I get it now. Okay, I'm in trouble. So three is six, five. Okay, so I get one point. Okay, so we're at zero, uh, like I've redu I've gotten rid of the, um, my minus one for the reroll way back in Wonderland. Okay, so we're going to do one more. After I finish the test. Okay, I'm going to skip the second test. Does that make sense? Because I'm allowed to do this with whatever. If you want to look at it that way. If I want to steal it. It even says the second second test is optional. It's just I'm scared to death of losing um, um, uh, more fuel. Because I think fuel is going to be important. I may be wrong about that. I think it may be fuselage. That's uh, what I, have, I should have worried about actually for my landing. But oh well. That's like I said, I'm trying to learn here. So as far as I know, that's it. I've finished. Now I've returned to base in a weirdo way, but I have to now look, uh, roll to see if I've um, landed properly, which is neat because often I've been watching movies and so on and so forth, and um, you know, or even training, and you see like three trillion planes. Uh, well, you, obviously, as you know, I exaggerate a bit. Um, you know, crashing all the time. Okay, so I run roll, roll 1d6 and um, and there's some die roll modifier. So minus 1 if my pilot is value is 1. Oops. Uh, minus 1 if my fuselage is 1 and plus 1 if my fuel is 2 or above. And is my fuel 2 or above? Yes, it is. Excellent. Okay, and I need a 4 or higher. So let's see what happens. I get a 5, so I succeed. So what does that mean? It means that I uh, lost a point because I did a reroll, but I gained a point because of that opportunistic attack on the, what was it, a balloon? What the heck was it? Um, yeah, it was a re reconnaissance balloon. Then I get uh, three points, goodness gracious, for uh, the mission. So I'm going to be up to... Well, quite a bit of points. I'll have to take a look later. But no planes were shot down. I Hopefully you get the idea. It's a flipping cool game as far as I'm concerned. Got some interesting little decision points. Uh, did I mention it's free? Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys are having a great old time, man. See ya.